Before you build an engine, you have to spend a lot of time checking the fit and function of parts. In today's video, I'm going to show you the last fit check that I did to my 1972 Volkswagen engine before I seriously started the rebuild. You have to check the fit of the main bearings for all four bearings in the case and where they sit. This is my main bearing set that's gonna go into this engine and a new set of main bearing dowel pins. One, two, three, four main dowel pins are on the left side of the case. Now I'm going to check the fit of the bearings. The number four bearing, which goes on the pulley end of the crankshaft, and the offset always goes toward the flywheel. Okay, so that's a tight fit. Here's the number three bearing. The reason we're doing this now is because the number three bearing has to go on the crankshaft. So we check the fit of that. It's tight this way, up and down. That's important. That's what's important. Then the number two bearings are the clamshell halves. The hole is on the crank is on the flywheel side, which is that way. So this will sit. In here, there we go. Now that's nice and seated. And the main the thrust bearing. So there's the dowel pin hole that goes toward the flywheel. You wiggle it back and forth. So, bearing check. This bearing goes in the right half of the case. So now we are set to put this and this on the crankshaft. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you like it. If you did, please click thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out some of my other videos. I expect this will be the first in a long series of videos of getting this engine running and getting the car back on the road. Be curious, look at things, do research, try to fix stuff that you've never fixed before and never stop figuring stuff out. There we go. Ah, uh, no, that's, well, almost, almost, there we go, now it's seated.